Hey everybody, what's going on? Ryan. Now there's something that you need to know about when it comes to uh, doing videos, whether it be live videos, recorded videos that you're posting in your social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. The reason I bring this up is because I recently saw a uh, retail business do a really cool live video around the store, you know, showing some of the things that they had uh, for the sale that was going on. Well, here's the issue. In the background, they had music playing. So, well, Ryan, what's the big deal with me? It was copyrighted music. They were just playing something off the radio or off of Pandora or whatever, okay? So the issue with that is when, you're, when you have copyrighted music, you're gonna get shut down. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're putting it. Um, so if you're gonna do, you know, you see a lot of uh, ambient music in, in uh, like retail stores, um, you'll see it in, in restaurants quite a bit. So when doing those videos, make sure to turn down the music so that you can get uh, your uh, your video approved and, and get it out there. So that is my tip for today. Oh, by the way, you might be saying, well, Ryan, I just saw an ad with you uh, with the Congos music. That is correct. We have an ad running, several ads running right now for the Congos concert that's coming up in Twin Falls, September 14th. That's a Saturday. Make sure to get your tickets. Go to gooutlocal.com to uh, uh, find the link to get those tickets. But here, here's the deal though. Uh, we were able to get the license and permission uh, and paid for the rights to be able to use Congo songs for those ads. Makes sense, right? Since we're promoting a band. But you, as business owners, most likely don't have those licenses of the music that's playing in the background of your videos. So just keep that in mind when shooting videos for your business. We'll see you later.